Did you ever ask why cat worship in ancient Egypt was a regular practice? Get ready to uncover the mysterious world of ancient Egypt's sacred cats and their divine powers like never before. First, we'll explain why cats and not other animals, the origin of worship, their benefits in Egyptian culture, the power of cats, and a simple guide to the main feline deities. Ancient Egypt is renowned for its magnificent pyramids and intricate hieroglyphs. These awe-inspiring structures and symbols have captivated the imagination of people for centuries, standing as a testament to the ingenuity and spiritual depth of this ancient civilization. Yet one aspect of their civilization continues to fascinate people today, their deep reverence for cats. This reverence wasn't merely a cultural quirk, it was a profound element of their society that permeated various aspects of their daily lives and spiritual practices. This wasn't just a passing fondness. Cats held a place of honor in Egyptian society, intertwined with their daily lives, religious beliefs and mythology. Cats were not only pets, but also protectors and symbols of divine attributes. They were often depicted in art and literature, showcasing their integral role in the Egyptian worldview. The origins of this unique relationship can be traced back thousands of years. The bond between humans and cats in Egypt began long before the construction of the Great Pyramids, evolving over millennia into a complex and multifaceted relationship. As early as 4000 BCE, Egyptians recognized the value of cats in protecting their crops and granaries from rodents. This practical benefit was crucial for a civilization that relied heavily on agriculture. Cats helped safeguard the food supply, ensuring the survival and prosperity of the community. This practical benefit evolved into a deep spiritual connection, elevating cats to the status of divine beings. Cats were associated with several deities, most notably Bastet, the goddess of home, fertility and childbirth, who was often depicted with the head of a lioness or a domestic cat. The Egyptians saw in cats an embodiment of grace, power and protection, qualities they associated with their gods and goddesses. Cats were believed to possess a magical aura capable of warding off evil spirits and bringing good fortune to their owners. This belief was so strong that harming a cat, even accidentally, was considered a grave offence, punishable by death. The reverence for cats extended into the afterlife as well. Many cats were mummified and buried with their owners, ensuring that they would continue to provide protection and companionship in the next world. This practice highlights the deep emotional and spiritual bond between Egyptians and their feline companions. Today, the legacy of cat worship in ancient Egypt continues to intrigue and inspire. Visitors to Egypt can still see the remnants of this ancient practice in museums and archaeological sites where cat statues and mummies are displayed. The fertile lands along the Nile River, while a blessing for agriculture, were also a haven for vermin. The rich, fertile soil allowed for the cultivation of abundant crops, which in turn attracted a variety of pests. Rats and mice, attracted to the abundance of grain, posed a constant threat to the Egyptians' food supply. These rodents could quickly decimate stored grain, leading to potential food shortages and economic instability. This is where cats played a crucial role. Introduced to the Egyptian environment, cats quickly adapted and became indispensable allies in the fight against these pests. Their natural hunting instincts made them highly effective pest controllers. Cats would stealthily stalk and catch rodents, significantly reducing the population of these destructive creatures. Cats protected not only the grain but also the homes of the Egyptians. They became a common sight in households where they were valued for their ability to keep the living spaces free from vermin. They kept snakes and other venomous creatures at bay, safeguarding both people and their livestock. The presence of cats meant fewer dangerous encounters with these harmful animals, providing a safer environment for everyone. This practical contribution to daily life earned cats the respect and gratitude of the Egyptians. Cats were not just pets. They were protectors and providers, ensuring the well-being of the community. They recognized that cats were essential for their survival and prosperity. This reverence for cats was reflected in their art and culture where cats were often depicted in murals and sculptures, symbolizing their importance in Egyptian society.
The Egyptians even went as far as to deify cats associating them with the goddess Baste, who was believed to bring home fertility and protection. Temples were built in her honor, and cats were often mummified and buried with their owners, signifying their sacred status. Today, the legacy of the ancient Egyptian reverence for cats continues. Modern households around the world still benefit from the companionship and pest control that cats provide. Whether as beloved pets or as working animals, cats remain an integral part of human life, just as they were thousands of years ago. Beyond their practical contributions, cats held a deep mystical significance for the Egyptians. Their agility, independence and air of mystery captivated the Egyptian imagination. They were seen as creatures of duality, embodying both ferocity and grace, power and tenderness. The Egyptians associated cats with several powerful concepts. Their keen eyesight symbolized the watchful gaze of the gods protecting humanity from unseen dangers. Their nocturnal nature linked them to the underworld and the mysteries of the afterlife. This belief was further strengthened by the cat's ability to see in the dark, a skill the Egyptians perceived as magical and otherworldly. The Egyptians' reverence for cats reached its zenith in their pantheon of gods and goddesses. Cats were not merely pets or animals, they were seen as divine beings, embodying various aspects of life and the cosmos. This deep-seated veneration is evident in the way they integrated feline imagery into their religious and daily lives. Several deities were depicted with feline features reflecting the deep spiritual connection between humans and these creatures. The Egyptians believed that cats possessed a unique blend of grace, agility and mystery qualities that were essential to their gods. This connection was not just symbolic but also practical as cats protected their homes from pests and were seen as guardians of the household. Bastet, the cat-headed goddess, was among the most beloved. She was often depicted as a lioness in earlier times, symbolizing her fierce and protective nature. Over time her image softened to that of a domestic cat, representing her nurturing and gentle aspects. Baste was a goddess of home, fertility and childbirth and she was also a protector of the family. She embodied joy, fertility and protection and her image adorned homes and temples throughout Egypt. People would offer her amulets and statues to invoke her blessings and protection. Festivals in her honor, such as the Feast of Bubastis, were grand celebrations filled with music, dance and joy, reflecting her association with happiness and festivity. Sekhmet, the fierce lion-headed goddess, represented the destructive power of the sun. She was a warrior goddess, embodying the scorching heat and the fierce, unyielding nature of the desert sun. Her name means the powerful one, and she was often invoked in times of war and conflict. Despite her fearsome aspect, she was also a protector, warding off evil and disease. Sekhmet was believed to have the power to bring both plague and healing, and her priests were known for their knowledge of medicine. Amulets and statues of Sekhmet were used to protect against illness and to invoke her healing powers. Mafdet, another feline deity, was associated with justice and the execution of royal pronouncements. She was often depicted as a cheetah or a lynx, animals known for their speed and hunting prowess. Mafdet was seen as a divine executioner, punishing those who broke the laws of Ma'at, the ancient Egyptian concept of truth, balance and order. Her sharp claws symbolized her role in upholding order and punishing wrongdoers. Mafedet was often invoked in legal matters and was believed to protect against venomous creatures, symbolizing her role in safeguarding the king and the kingdom from harm. These feline deities, each with their unique attributes, illustrate the multifaceted nature of cats in Egyptian mythology. They were not just symbols of grace and beauty, but also of power, protection and justice. The reverence for these feline gods and goddesses highlights the profound respect and admiration the ancient Egyptians had for cats, seeing them as integral to both their spiritual and everyday lives. The significance of cats in ancient Egypt extended beyond the spiritual realm. They played a crucial role in the economy and religious practices. The breeding and trading of cats became a lucrative industry, with temples serving as centers for this trade. Cats were also integral to religious ceremonies. They were mummified as offerings to the gods, particularly to Bastet. Temples dedicated to Bastet housed vast numbers of mummified cats, a testament to the scale of this practice. The discovery of these mummified cats in modern times has provided valuable insights into the ancient Egyptians' beliefs and practices. 
The relationship between Egyptians and cats evolved over time. Initially valued for their pest control skills, cats gradually became cherished companions. They were welcomed into homes, adorned with jewelry and even given special treats. This shift from utilitarian animal to beloved pet is evident in the art and literature of the time. Cats are frequently depicted in tomb paintings and sculptures, often alongside their human companions. This close bond between humans and cats is a testament to their special place in Egyptian society. While the Egyptians are perhaps most famous for their cat worship, other ancient cultures also held these creatures in high regard. In ancient Rome, cats were associated with the goddess Libertas, representing freedom and independence. The Norse goddess Freya, known for her beauty and magic, chose cats to pull her chariot. In many cultures, cats were seen as protectors against evil spirits and bringers of good fortune. Their ability to navigate the darkness and their mysterious independent nature contributed to their mystical aura. While the grandeur of ancient Egypt has faded, the legacy of their love for cats endures. In modern Egypt, cats continue to be cherished companions and are treated with respect and affection. They are a common sight in homes, shops and even mosques where they are welcomed as a reminder of their sacred past. So, do you think the ancient Egyptians' reverence for cats has influenced how we perceive and treat cats today? Do you prefer cats or are you a dog lover? Share your thoughts and experiences with cats in the comments below. For more insights into ancient Egyptian culture and other fascinating mythologies, subscribe to Mythomaniac for the latest updates and videos. You might like the video about dream symbols and ancient love stories. Feel free to check out if you're curious. Your insights and opinions are always welcome. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep the legends alive.